Uh, the change in four school term structure to three school terms made by the Minister for Education, Honorable Randrondro, is regressive. Unfortunately, the Minister has failed to understand the rationale behind this change and the benefit this brings to the education and other sectors. By way of background, the Fijian education system has had three terms in a school year with 14 weeks per term. After each term, students and teachers were given two weeks break, except term three, where they had seven weeks break, which normally began in late November. And I think all of us are familiar with this structure. Even if you speak to your parents, they'll tell you that they also went through the same school term structure. However, in 2021 and 2022, Due to unforeseen situation caused by the pandemic, uh, we had four terms. Term three of the 2021 academic year was brought forward to 2022. And after a short break of one week, school uh, resumed with the 2022 academic year in the month of April. The rationale to introduce four school term was to bring about overall efficiency in the education system by aligning this with the international best practice. The Ministry of Education considered the option of a four-term academic year for 2023 and the proposal was well received by the stakeholders such as the Fiji Head Teachers Association, the, the Fiji Principals Association, Parents Teachers Association, uh, Fiji Retailers Association, Parents, Teachers, Heads of School, faith-based organization, and Fijian Teachers Association. The Fiji Teachers Union, that is FTU, did not give their views, unlike Fiji uh, Teachers Association, FTA. They positively responded to this proposal. And in fact, in the email, they said that this change they were waiting for a very long time. Consultations were held by the divisional and district education offices around the country. Written views were also sought from stakeholders through social media platforms uh, who could not attend in-person consultation. We also used uh, Teachers Talanoa platform, uh, ministry's website, where people could give their views. The benefits of having a four-term academic year for schools are many. First, it will allow teachers to have breaks following shorter school terms given that teachers work hard during the term and manner students, which can be challenging and physically and emotionally draining. Shorter terms and four-term holidays will allow teachers to rest and recharge, reducing burnout or stress. Having 10 weeks per term with four-term model is better than having 14 weeks under three-term model, as it allows students to have breaks, refresh and prepare for another 10 weeks, and that keeps the students motivated. We all know that our country faces the threat of tropical cyclones from November to April, and it peaks between January to March. In the past, schooling had been greatly affected by frequent flooding and devastations caused by cyclones from late December to January. Some schools were used as evacuation centers during this time, which further delays the reopening of schools. This uh, causes a lot of disruption to schools with school closures soon after the start of the term. The late opening of schools will reduce the possibility of dealing with disruptions to schools and therefore finishing uh, the year in mid-December and starting the year late in January will not only fit in our circumstances, but it will also be smart and efficacious. The term holidays have been aligned to uh, Australia and New Zealand school terms, uh, which will allow better planning of family holidays. It should be noted that Fijians have their families, friends and relatives in these countries. The new model will further allow spread of sporting activities over three terms so that term four can be devoted to exams. And Fiji, as you all know, we love sports. Right? We look forward to our sports. And four terms just allows schools uh, and the sporting bodies to organize various sports 
over three terms and just leaving term four for academic, uh, uh, for the exam preparation. Businesses will also benefit as this will allow them to conclude the business for the festive season before the start of back to school preparations, giving parents ample time to plan for their children's schooling needs after the festive season. The international best practice based on studies shows shorter terms have positive influence on student learning and keep students motivated while boosting teacher morale. In New Zealand, four school terms were introduced in 1996 and Victoria in Australia introduced four terms in 1987. Now several countries around the globe have started discussion on changing school terms in response to climate change resulting in extreme adverse weather condition. And recently the discussions within the education fraternity is having a four day uh, week uh, school. Uh, we are not ready for that but at least we need to make some changes as, as things develop uh, internationally.